Hey FossTubers, uh, so this is the third time, nope, fourth time recording um, this video. Um, I posted my second one a couple of days ago and the audio messed up. I recorded it again about an hour ago and did it again. So any tips on that, that'd be great. So I am recording on our very grainy iPad, so this is not going to be fun. So I might have to cut this a little short until I can figure it out, but we'll try. So pretty much this is a haul video. I have, now I have a whip, um, an actual like updated whip. Um, yesterday that wasn't a thing. Uh, and a question that I'm looking for some feedback on and just my plan on videos and everything. So bear with me, um, it's gonna be super fast cause I don't like how grainy this video is. So I do apologize for that. Um, I'll call my dad and ask what the deal is later. Uh, Alright, so starting with haul, if you hate haul, most of this is haul, so back out now, um, kind of thing. So, okay, so I did, this week has been insane, absolutely insane. Uh, when I originally did the video, I had done no stitching whatsoever since the 18th of January. It is now like the 23rd, I think. Um... School started on Tuesday. I'm interning at the uh, Capitol Building down in Denver, Colorado, so the State Capitol Building, um, in the State Senate, um, with one of the uh, senators. So my life is crazy. I'm also taking classes on campus. One class on campus now. I dropped another one a couple hours ago. Um, just not worth it right now. I have no life. I still won't, but at least now I can breathe a little. Uh, so I have gotten no stitching in except for last night when I got home I did a video that first one. Um, I realized the audio was off. But I did stitch last night so I can't quite show you just my fabrics this time because I stitched on them. But it'll be a whip so it'll be kind of intertwined um, in my haul video. So um, hopefully it'll be better. I'm at least going to stitch on Friday nights. Provided I don't have work, which next week I do. Yay! So hopefully I'll find some time this week to get some stitching in. Maybe it's Monday night? No, I got class Monday night. I don't know. I'll find time. So the progress is going to be quite slow, but I'm still going to try for at least a once a month, um, end of the month update kind of thing. Um, that's my plan. So, um, little beginning stuff that I didn't cover last time that in case anyone wants to know. I have an obsession with my, my embroidery scissors. I saw on another video, and I can't remember whose, um, preferences on scissors. I do have a preference, um, and they are these lovely things. Um, they're, they're wonderful. This is my little needle minder, or my scissor fob. I made it with a bee. So, uh, what are these? Premax? Premax? Scissors, um, I love them. I went through security with them at the state capitol, and I forgot to take them out, and they were like, ooh, scissors, you're not supposed to have those. I was like, you can't do anything with these. Look how cute they are. And these things will shatter. They're very, very sharp. I have actually cut my finger with them. <laughs> Oops. And yes, so that's my scissor preference. I love those. I don't know how I handled the DMCs. Um, I didn't. That's what I did. I just didn't. Um, if you hear any computer noises, it's just my computer is like right here. So, sorry about that. Haul video. I got distracted four minutes in. So, two orders from 123 Stitch came in separately because I ordered them a day apart. Oops. Um, so, without further ado, put those right there. First one, two skeins. Woo! 115, 778. See, that's what I like about my computer, is it, like, inverts it so you can see things. So, things are going to be backwards today, you guys. Sorry. Until I figure it out. Um, next thing, three screen, three spools, spools of Krennic. So, I got the 032, not that you can see it, Pearl, number four, fine braid. I have three Hades that need them. Um, I was just sharing them between, one spool between all three, and I got more. Who doesn't like shopping? And then my last, um, 
150 V for a lady slipper. It's a little copper kind of thing. I think it's for her hair. And Designer's Desk didn't have it, and I'll talk about them a little bit in. Um, they didn't have it, so I ended up just getting it from 123 Stitch because it was like two weeks later, and I was like, okay, I haven't heard from you guys, so I'm just, I'm ordering it. Um, no idea if you guys can hear that, but that would be Isaac. <laughs> um, yeah, so next thing, 123 Stitch. Sorry, this is gonna, my first few videos were way more exciting. Whee! Sorry if you guys have seen this already, so. Okay, next thing. One, two, three, stitch, and then over here. So this is this little bag here. I saw you guys how I use project bags. My dad is sending me some clear plastic ones, which will be really nice to use. Um, but I thought I'd expand um, and try these things. I have a couple different ones, mainly just colors. They are pretty awesome. They're art bags. I got them from the bookstore that I work at um, on campus. CSU, go Rams. Um, and I really like them. They're under $5, and for me, they're 20% off. Um, so I've been putting a couple projects in them, just because I can just grab the bag and go. My 11 in these ones, which I do these? I don't remember what size they are. I'll look it up later. Um, but my 11 by 11 Q-snaps do fit in here. So, that's exciting. So I can bring, um, one of my other projects with me that I'll show in a minute. Um, but... My one two three stitch order part two. Pardon my not being ready. Look at it. So much floss. Um, plus some other ones in here. Um, I won't go through it all. I mean, if you care, I'll show you. I'll tell you. I'll list all the numbers. I have the the receipt still. Um, but it's for QS Leaf Fairy. Um, I found that one and just I was dressed and I bought it. So. I got that. I like the colors on it. I'll link it below in the comment section or the description. Here we go. Um, the other thing I got from 123Stitch is the fabric for QS Leaf Fairy, which actually comes up better on this video. Just gonna point that out there. There's the tag. It is a 25 count vintage country mocha uh, Lugana, and it's 13 by 18, so this should be, and I can just stitch right on this little little guy. Um, so this one will be nice and small. I have not stitched on anything besides white, or off-white, or antique white. It doesn't have white in it. I probably have not stitched on it. I haven't even stitched on black. Except for Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. Whatever I call it. Oregon. That's what I call it. Um, except for that one, and then, pardon me, blue. Solid blue. Still Ada. So that'll be really fun to get started. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to... I might have to wait until Mania. I might just get angry and just decide to start it. Um, and Because I love starting stuff. Compulsive starter. That's me. Um, so yeah. That is 123Stitch. I have a feeling... I'm going to order more. Because it's me. Probably need some more needles. Um, I did find that stitching bits and bobs is a little bit cheaper on these guys, so uh, I don't need another reason to order from them, but now I do. I'm thinking about getting one of their grab bags, their mystery bits, I think is what they're called. Um, if you have any opinions on that, throw it in the comments. I'm thinking about doing that. Um, the next time I need to order Krynik, which I'll talk about that in a minute, probably will be. Um... So, the next thing is Clouds Factory. Now, I have not done, I'm not, I haven't heard of uh, Clouds Factory or, it's like the Frosted Pumpkin, I think it's the other one. I have my laptop up, I can Google it before. Um, I had never heard of them until uh, Coffee Stitcher, Garrett, um, you mentioned them, and I was like, what is this nonsense? And I looked it up, and then I bought it. Um... <laughs> story of my life. So I got the postcards from around the world kit. So pattern and the whole kit. Yay! Um, I got the whole kit and I didn't pay for the expedited shipping. Really sad, but it came on Thursday. Um, so super excited about that. So like I said, I got the kit. Um, and now it is on, um, 
32 count Belfast linen. Um, mm. It's a color, color called Rosewood from Picture Me Plus. Um, here it is. Ooh. Yay. So this is where my whip <laughs> interject whip update. So I worked on this last night. I did 357 stitches, not including the bottom half I had to rip out and do again. Yay for counting. Or not counting. So this is my start. Ooh. It's as far as I got last night. I was up until like 1. And I was like, okay. I wasn't tired. I had like 3 shots of espresso. So... <laughs> Uh, I still went to bed anyways because I was working on homework actually all morning until I started working on this video. Um, this is my break. Thanks, boss too, uh, for encouraging me to take a break. And that is my needle minder. I made this last week. It is my love. Eee. So last night when I was ripping out all the stitches, I was looking at him and I was like, just stop smiling at me like that. It's kind of. I was getting really tired at that point. For at least a little bit. Like 11. So that is that guy. Um, postcards from around the world. I've never heard of it. Of uh, Clouds Factory. I love them. My wish list has like 15 patterns on them that I want to do when I get money. Darn. Darn money. And being a college student. Um, so I really like this. I love it so much. Um, I earned it yesterday and I started stitching on it yesterday. First time stitching on 32 count 2 over 2. I've been doing a pattern. I'm doing Lady Slipper on 28 count 2 over 2 on even weave. So this was a little bit more fun. Um, I'm getting my methods down so I don't have to worry about stitches again like I did last night. But it's definitely worth it. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, and the kit also comes with all of this lovely stuff. This lovely, lovely stuff. Um, and the white for the back, the, around the piece. Wow, I'm getting tired. Uh, the other thing it comes with, in case those who are wanting to know what how it all works, I did get the full kit. I didn't have time to just go shop it out, and I just bought it. I was stressed about school, so I bought it. So we got these lovely Week Style Works. I've never worked with these before, so any tips? I read the little directions. It says to do full X's before going on to the next one. I'll probably do that, um, unless I hear otherwise. Uh, never worked with it before. I don't feel like it's that much different, but I don't know. I'll probably watch more Floss 2 videos, more than the 15 I watched last night. Um, but here they are. Aqua, for those that can't read backwards, I got two of those, um, which are these guys, so I'm in order, Cactus and Marigold. So I'm super excited to work with these, um, I really like Class Factory, I was kind of looking through it and I was like, eh, I don't really like a lot of stuff here, and then I started just being like, no, don't hate the new company, and I love it, I really do. Um, now that I'm looking at them, I'm seeing all these people finishing things, and I'm like, I need that, it looks so much better when I see finishes. So keep posting those, and you will help me increase my stash, which I don't need any help with, as you can see. Um, so that is postcards from around the world and my lovely whip update. I think I'm going to try to work on this later today for about 30 minutes. I'm going to do what uh, the stash queen kind of does in her thing, even though mine's on a new start. I'm going to try to work today 15 to 30 minutes on three pieces, because... I need to get something done sooner rather than later. Um, so Stash Unload on Facebook. It is a group called Stash Unload. Um, I am a fan of that. Um, I'm on it more often than I should be. I bought stuff in the middle of class. I bought stuff at the Capitol. Um, and I have a bunch of stuff coming from Stash Unload, so I'll have another haul video coming up soon. For sure. Um, but the one that I do have now, which is backwards, bothers me, um, is a Heaven and Earth Designs. It's called Carly Cat. Yee. And look at the cute little one inside of it. Yee. So I got this. It is an original. I don't show that. Not that there's anything on that page, but hey, eh, whatever. Um, original packaging. I thought it was cute. Impulse buy. I bought it. Thanks, social mode people. Shout out to you guys. 
enablers. Um, so I got more coming. I think I got two, maybe three Miras on their way. I have my first Lavender and Lace coming. Um, the lovely Array. <laughs> it's your fault. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, and I think I have another kit. Another uh, booklet coming that has a pattern in it that I really, really wanted that I found after I already bought something from her and she shipped it. Like, the next day I found something else. I was like, sorry. Could have combined it. I didn't look through the other albums. I was trying to be good. I failed. Oops. Um, okay. So, last little interjection about mirrors. Um, so from Designer's Desk, I got... This is one of the ones from my last video, but Spring Topiary Garden. I really wanted to do this one first after I saw it. Um, but they had already pulled the, uh, fabric, or they cut the fabric for me, so I was like, ah, I don't want to tell them to do it again. And they don't tell me how much it was when I, when they cut it, so. I didn't want to be like, just kidding! Not that person. So, I really want to do this one, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many, uh, Karen Water Lilies in here. It's just gonna be a fortune to get, um, kitted up. Excuse me. So, I gotta get the Krynik, and the beads, and the Karen Water Lilies, and I was just like, I'm just gonna do Lady Slipper. It's got two beads, one Krynik, and the rest of it's DMC. So I did that one, started with that one. But I really like this one. Really, really like this one. It's got gardens and fairies and butterflies. It's got all my favorite things. So that one, um, I was looking through stitching bits and bobs because I didn't know that was a thing either. I'm so sheltered. Um, so the lovely Ray said she got a, I watched one of her videos on her hauls from Stitching Bits and Bobs, and I was like, I'm just gonna go look. So I was looking through the clearance, um, and I came across this, I don't know if you can see that, it's the bead pack for it, um, fine clearance, it's like 17 bucks. I get nervous pulling beads because I don't want to buy the wrong ones and I don't understand how those things work so I got the bead pack and I'm excited. So I have the bead, all the beads for the water, for um, Spring Topiary Garden. I'm not going to start that right away, I still need to get all the water lilies, yay. Um, but that one will be on the docket soon. Docket. <laughs> um, I'm really tired in case you couldn't guess. Um, and then I was looking through the rest of my stash, and one of my other Miras needs these guys, and I already had them. First time ever. So, and I don't know what I needed them for originally. I bought them for a reason. Don't know why. But, they're going for the mirror now. So, we have that lovely, lovely thing. Um, so that was Stitching Bits and Bobs order that came in, um, Definitely not used to the whole, not sure if they have it, they're going to ship it. It still said it was in progress. Uh, I don't know. But I got here super quickly. Kudos to them for that. Um, I was very excited. I got two things in one day. I was like screaming and Isaac was sleeping. And he's like, what's going on? I was like, I got a stitching order. Um, they went back to sleep. So. <laughs> um, next part of haul is designer's desk, um, and talk about that a little bit again. Um, so there's a needle workshop in Geneva, Illinois, and it's called Designer Desk, um, and it's a house. A house. That's how the whole town is set up. A lot of the shops are in, like, little town, little houses. Of counted needlework. My favorite thing. Um, three floors. Upper, main level, and basement. Uh, upper has fabrics, cross-stitch, Counted Needlepoint, uh, the Mill Hill kits, if you need perforated paper, they have it. Didn't know I could get that there. Um, main level is just beads, floss, stamp, the stamps, canvas? I don't know. Stamped canvas, we'll go with that. Needlepoint. Um, and the basement is a 50% off clearance, everything in the basement. It is very cold down there, though, so bring a coat. Um... I love it so much. I spend so much money when I'm there. They have a discount little thing that when you buy a certain number of things, they take your average order price and that's how much you get off your next visits. After like 12 visits, I'm well on my way there. Um, so yeah, designer's desk. Amazing. Love it. Got so many things from them. 
So we went. I went there when I was home for Christmas break and came home with stuff. What's that? So the mirrors that I showed last time. Um, so lady slipper, spring topiary, and a couple other ones that I don't remember the names of anymore because I don't want to repeat them too many times. Um, and a couple other things that I got. Uh, I got America the Beautiful. And that's the United States inverse, don't you love it? Um, I know it's hard to read, sorry guys. I'll work on this video thing. It's adorable. And it came with this free little thing. I think I'm going to do that for my dad in Beats. Um, get some perforated paper from somewhere. I think Joanne says it. Um, and do the flag in Beats. Maybe make it into a pin? I'm going I'm going off on a limb here. I'll talk, again, I'll talk about that at the end. Um, this pattern is huge. I mean, the paper itself is bigger than the screen. Um, so I saw and found that. It was seven bucks. I had to have it. Had to have it. It's on 18 count, I think is what they recommend for it. So that's super easy to get a hold of. There's no crazy specialty. It's all just DMC. Easy to do when I get to it. Um, but I had to have it like I did. So uh, next thing is this guy. It's in a box. I'm easily entertained by boxes. But here it is. What that says backwards is, today is a good day for a good day. Um, it's mostly just like a backstitching thing. There's a couple of sections that are cross-stitched. Uh, mainly the flowers. Like here and here. Um, specialty stitch here. And there's some eyelets, which will get me some good practice, I think. Um, I want to do the lovely array I was talking about in one of her previous videos because I'm backlogged um, and because I just found floss too. Um, she was talking about the mini chatelaines or something. Um, a site that she recommended. I want to get those three in the set. I probably will put that on my birthday, Christmas, something. One of those. One of those lists because my, my um, family never knows what to get me. Well, my mom knows to get me cross stitch stuff. But I have other family members that, they're like, oh, she cross-stitches, and I love the thought they put into some of these pieces, but I'm something I'm not necessarily interested in, and I do it because I, they're gifts, and I will love, I enjoy everything. Um, but they tend to like to get me stuff I will do, so I have a list now, and it's all patterns, and not too expensive, and emails, and ah, I can make it work. So, my mom liked this one, and... I'm gonna do this one for her. I've never done something like this before. I don't. I've never done eyelets, so this will be fun. Um, it's got all the preparation, and it's little, and it's the whole kit. So it was a little pricey, but I don't care. Um, it was adorable. So 35 count lamb's wool linen is what it is to be stitched on. Nice little piece that came with. not super fun. And then the beads. Give me a good to click. There we go. Little beads. Lots and lots of little beads. Um, so I'm going to do that one for my mom. Hi mom, if you're watching this. It'd be kind of scary, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so it comes in this cute little container. They have more, like little, like the things like this big, little kits. Um, they're adorable. And I like things in boxes. This made me so happy. Kind of pathetic, I know. I'm easily entertained. Um, the other thing I got from them is fabric. So I got the 28 count even weave that's on Lady Slipper. It's nothing fancy, nothing special, really. Um, I got, actually, this one is a bag, but I got this tube of 14 count black Ada Charles Craft. It had it was in the basement so it was 50% off and there was no tag on it. And I was like, how much is this? Except there's a Walmart tag on it for a dollar. So they gave it to me for 50 cents. So I got a whole skein of it or a whole roll of this for 50 for 50 cents. Cheapest and the project only has one color in it. Cheapest project ever. Pattern was more expensive. Um so that was great. So fabric I got, where'd it go, um, I got this Lizzie Kate K 
kit, not from Designer's Desk, but they do have it. I did see it. Um, it's called the Time for God number 141. I got this from my boss back in Illinois um, for Christmas, and um, which is amazing because she, I didn't think she noticed that I like crossed it, um, but I do, obviously. So she got this for me, and I think it was a couple days later. She's like, "Oh, did you start that yet?" And I was, it came with the floss and everything, but it didn't come with fabric. And the recommended is a with the model was stitched on. That's right here. Uh, 30 count cappuccino over dyed linen and I can't get that at Joann's I can't get that very many places um Michael's Hobby Lobby my normal places so designer's desk they had the exact one I needed so here it is I need to iron it I don't know why I didn't iron it yesterday probably because I forgot oops it's gonna breed um this is another one of those I'm not used to stitching on um, non-white stuff, not white linen, or anything, Ada linen, whatever. So this one will be really fun. My question comes in is, can I give it back to her as a gift? Should I? Should I not? I don't hang stuff. My parents do, but I could give it to them. Um... I'm going to stitch it. I feel like it should go up somewhere, you know? But I don't tend to hang stuff. I don't have any cross stitches. I don't have any needlework. I have Doctor Who right here um, hanging. And then we have a couple of Isaacs. We have like a map hanging. We just I just don't hang my needlework. Um, I have one that I will plan on hanging. It's the, the postcards from around the world when it's done. Not in there. Um, next probably January, December, January when it's done. Not gonna be for a while. I don't know. Um, can I give it to her as a gift? Is that awkward? Is that like re-gifting? I'm gonna keep the pattern, obviously, but I, d I don't know what to do. So any input on that would be great. Um, she'd really love it. That's the thing. Like, I feel like she kind of picked it up for herself, too. So I, I don't know if I can give it to her back as a gift. I, I don't know what the protocol is on that. So help me out. Um, but the whole kit came with the floss, and there was a needle in here at one point. But there is a hole in the bag, so it probably fell out somewhere. It was in a piece of film, so hopefully it all Most of my stuff's in here anyway, so I doubt it'll be a problem. So there's that. Um, that's all the haul. Well, kind of. It is the haul. Um, so the other two things are whips and, or whip, singular, and uh, my needle point. I was going to show my kind of needle point today because I forgot to do it last time because I was more excited about getting the video done. So, my whip that I am working on, I didn't work on it last night, so there's technically no progress, but you haven't seen it before, so, show it to you guys. So, I am working on another heaven and earth design. I have way too many of those going. I mean, you can't have enough, what can I say? And it's a tiny treasure, so it's a small one, and it's called kitten number two. Isn't it cute? Um, so I'm working on this one for the January challenge um, on the Heaven and Earth Design Facebook page. Um, Michelle is, from Heaven and Earth Design, is putting on a challenge series of six different challenges throughout the next year and if you complete her challenge with the proper requirements and all the posting that you need to do uh, for it you get a free chart after each section and they're all supposed to be coordinating like related to each other so my plan was to do all of them um, I might not I've been liking stitching my other stuff too much and I do feel I'm forced to work on this and I don't like being in that situation so this month's challenge, well, it's through March, March 14th or 15th. And you can sign up up through then. So if you haven't heard of this, Heaven and Earth Designs, official Facebook page, official Heaven and Earth Design, I think is what it's called. Um, you do need approval to get in, but mm, not that hard. Um, so this month's challenge is 10 by 10 blocks diagonally. So they ought to be connecting by a corner and no filling in the in-between parts, which is impossible to do when you're me and you don't stitch like this. So I don't normally stitch like this. I didn't want to use one of my other projects for this reason. Um, so here it is. 
I have two full blocks done and I got three that are almost done. But they're not done. But they're close. Um, so that's my start on that. I just started this one middle of January. I haven't been working on it that long. I have it written down in my project book somewhere. Um, that's my needle blinder, in case anyone wants to know. Isn't it cute? No notes. Isaac likes that one. Um, comments on that, on terms of my comments on diagonal stitching, it drives me crazy. Um, just in this block right here, there's like one stitch of the same color right next to it. Couldn't put it in. I don't like stitching like that. It's an educational thing for sure. Um, I mean, I love being able to see that these little squares are done. I can see where the pattern's going. Um, still not worth it though, I don't think, um, to keep doing it this way. And there's like 15 different colors. I don't know if you can see that. Look how many colors are in those blocks. And there's Krynik, um, <laughs> and that's actually been okay, um, so far, like I said, not gonna look. Um, I'm not gonna do it after the challenge, so I gotta get a thousand stitches in like this, so ten blocks. Um, currently one, two, three, four, five, I have six going, so I need to get another row going over here, over here. Small piece, um, which is good, that's why I did it, um. My plug for uh, Hades, if you're nervous about trying and having an earth design pattern, I definitely recommend going small. So, um, Tiny Treasure, that's what that one is. It is, I never remember, 85 wide by 47 high. It's a little. It's small. There is still a lot of color changes, but it's not unmanageable, I would guess. Um, next step up, QS Quick Stitch, that was that other piece of fabric I showed in the beginning. Not too big. Some of the quick stitches are kind of big, but they're not as many. There's confetti, not as much confetti. And then there's minis, which are still smaller. Um, I'd recommend any of those to start with Hades if you're nervous. Um, they are really fun for sure. Um, no back stitching, no French knots, no beads, no nothing but X's. Or you can tent stitch, to whatever your heart desires. I do full crosses. Um, Always you can use a different color fabric than white 25 count. You can It's easy to convert. Um, I like the small counts, so 18 is the smallest I think I've gone with. Um, but there are beginner charts that they just added. Some of the cool horse ones that I like, because I want ponies. Um, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, yeah, that's my plug for Hade. My side comment of what I said before is um, I used to stitch have it under design patterns exclusively. I, unless it was a gift. I was like, I'm not dealing with backstitching. I'm not dealing with beading. I can't do French knots to save myself. Um, but I, you've lost tubers having um, changed my mind. Yeah, we'll go with that. So I have a bunch of non hades coming in. I am obviously working on my Mirabilia uh, Lady Slipper. Um, I have my lavender and lace coming. I found one that I think I can, think I can live with. Um, and then Clouds Factory and Frosted Pumpkin and all these other cool places that I didn't even know existed. Um, a little back stitch isn't gonna kill me. It makes mirrors are beautiful pieces, all of them. Even the ones that I'm like, I'd never stitch it, but I admire it from afar, uh, from the YouTube screen. Um, I need to start expanding. Um, I also see that a lot of people finish more things when not doing aids. <laughs> I haven't finished something in so long. Um, so thanks Floss Tube community for so the lovely array for sure, Coffee Stitcher, those are the two I can think of right now because I watch your videos way too much. Um, or not enough, I'm not sure. Um, I'll write down names as I find more that you've inspired me to try new things. Um, I have a lot of projects. I I really do. I keep starting new ones. So I'm going to not just be working on my hades anymore, which I think will be a good break. Um, I'd say I won't start anymore, but I'm going to start one. one at least one more. 
Um, I don't have any other plans to knit up or kit up, whatever. Uh, any other ones at this point, just QS Leaf Fairy, because I like the bright colors in that. I have plenty of them going, and I, I'm going to keep telling myself this so I don't start them, and I always do. Um, if I'm going to do other challenges this year through Heaven and Earth Design um, on, the, on the Facebook group, I have plenty of the tiny treasures. I have two other kittens. Um, that I will probably use. She will be using different techniques. So I know there's one for parking, there's one, I think she said one for tent stitch, which I won't be participating in. Um, I know that now. Nothing against tent stitching. I just don't. I don't like doing it. I mean, I'd probably get done faster, but I like my full little crosses. Um, not gonna do them. You don't have to do them all. You can do all of them, none of them, some of them. You know. Uh, but the charts that she does are not going to be released um, to the masses. You have to participate with the sign-ups. But that's okay, because I have plenty, plenty of Heaven and Earth design charts. Um, I would like to start a stitch in time, the one that I got for the Christmas travel. But there's a lot of confetti in it, so I'm not too sure. Um, no, I'm not going to start them this year. I probably will for Mania, <laughs> let's just be honest. I want to participate in that. Shouldn't, but want to. So that is my little side comment. Thanks, FlossTube, for encouraging me to buy more stuff. Need a point. Counted. I do that. Um, so this is the one that I'm working on. It's called Starry Skies by From Nancy's Needle. It's part of the regional quilt series, as you can read on the screen if you're super skilled and can read backwards. Um, I have done another one in the regional quilt series and it's hanging up at my parents' house. There are a couple of specialty stitches in that one. There are not in this one. I actually like specialty stitches. I don't know why I'm all excited. Um, probably because I get this done faster. At least I don't think so. There's some little swirls. Not that hard. Um, I have done one needlepoint kit where it was stamped onto the canvas. I sit there with the picture and I count how many are in the picture because I need to be able to count things. I like numbers. I like counting. I don't like filling in because I don't have, I don't feel like I have the design capacity to be able to make a good decision on how many to fill in. I don't want it to look weird. I want it to look like the picture. So uh, counted needle points come with a chart for those that don't know about this. Um, tells you how many to hook over. Um, I'll show it to you in a minute. Woo. So you're gonna see this dark section because that's all I did. Um, so they're on stretcher bars. Move my head out of the way. There we go. I'll get this. In a cute. I think it's centered. I counted center like six times, but I don't know. They're very um, they're very simple to do. If you can do cross stitch confidently, which a lot of you can, um, counted needle point is, it's pretty much like 10 stitch, except they're longer and there's more cool colors and yeah. Um, I love doing these. They're simple. They're usually stress free, except for when I did this one. I just counted the wrong number, but I was tired and I should not have been stitching that day. Lesson learned. Um, but I did all of this in one sitting. It took about 20 minutes. Not that hard. Um, but what is cool about them is all the fancy colors. Um, the only thing is they are kind of pricey. I didn't buy this one. My mom sent me a care package, um, which included the stretcher bars, the fabric, 99% of the skeins, they were out of a couple, so I just got some over Christmas break. Um, so they're a little pricey in that, because they're not just DMC, 99 cents, they're specialty, but nobody seems to have a problem with that here except for me, so hey, kudos for that. So, lots of colors, indigo, watercolors, um, there's a couple of those, there are some DMC, 7.99, that's what that says. Um, I went through all this in the last video I recorded that I didn't post, but um, Lexi Blue, uh, 
too much blue over here, I saw that. Delphinium. Thank you. Uh, Dawn 134 by Karen Watercolors. It's a lot lighter in the picture, or in the video. Thanks, grainy camera. And then we got three little skeins of snow. I think it's generic. New sparkles. Who doesn't love sparkles? I like sparkles. Um, and then, <laughs> the thing I was most excited about was these. I've never stitched with anything that's on a card. I see people with them, and I see like whole projects, like the crowns. I'm just like, I want that. Um, so I have my own now. Um, these are Cresta de de Oro. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's gotta be somebody that knows. Um, just it's a C O eight generic. I don't know what that means. In the pattern somewhere around here. I think it's over there. Um, but yeah, so two cards of that. And they're shiny! So that's just for the kind of needlepoint. So I get to, that's, that was my introduction to special PD stuff. So yes, I technically have used them before. Just not in the same capacity as cross stitch. Um, my office is a mess. So as I'm trying to find stuff, sorry, you're seeing it. It's horrible. School is, school's bad for this. Um, yeah. So, my question has been posed of what do I do, proposed, proposed, I don't even know. Question of what to do with that other piece, do I give it to my boss, do I not? She's a family friend, so I kind of think it's okay, but I don't know. Maybe there's some unwritten rule, I don't know. Um, I do, so my last little wrap up here, that was everything I think I had. If you have any questions, stitchy questions, why do I do what I do, what do I do if I haven't um, commented on it yet, feel free to ask. I see people doing Q&As. I kind of want to do one. I don't know. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't mind answering questions. School questions, I don't know why you'd ask those. Um, I've been around the block a few times with that. I'm a super senior. I changed my major like six times already. So, I um, transferred school through schools three times, three different schools. Um, so, I can help with that. I don't know why. Um, yeah. So, if you have anything, put it below. Hopefully this video works this time. I'm using the iPad. That's really old. So, bear with me on that. Um, I plan on doing updates every month because of school. If for some reason I start something and finish it, I'll do a video because I never finish anything, so I'm not counting on there being too many of those. Um, when my stuff from Stash Unload gets in here, which should be in the next week, I'll probably do another one, but I'll probably save that one for the end of January because that is fast approaching. Eee! Um, that's terrifying. I have exams in February. Um, anything you want to see that you haven't? Um, see my blog, I update that more often than I probably will videos, so if you see anything on there that you're like, you haven't talked about that, throw it on a comment on a video, or throw it on the blog, I check it, I'm usually on it every day just to see what's going on. Um, thank you to all the followers, people that have followed me, I didn't think that'd be a thing, I'm like, who wants to see me talk about cross stitching? I mean, I do, but... I don't think, I'm not used to that yet. So thanks everyone who subscribed. If you haven't yet, feel free to, um, or don't. I don't care. It won't break, it won't break my heart. Um, yeah. Anything you want to see, let me know. And other than that, that's all I got for today. And I am going to go read and then stitch. Yay for the stitching. Not for comparative politics. That's on the docket today. Again, why am I saying docket? Anyways, so I'll see you guys next time, and happy stitching! Bye!